watching my birds fly free is it's it's really hard to explain to someone who hasn't experienced it um it's different than watching other people's birds fly free like there's because you have that bond with your bird and you have you know you're fighting that fear of loss and that fear of am i doing the right thing is it okay for me to allow risk for them and it and it is like it's it's giving them what what they were born to what they were hatched or born or brought into this world to do and that's fly they have wings they shouldn't be clipped they should be able to soar and it's i wouldn't raise my children and keep them locked in a closet like that's the equivalent of putting your bird in a cage and not letting them fly and even if all you're capable of is flight indoors it's you owe it to your birds to allow them it's yeah it's it's everything and to hear their celebration and especially since i have a galah like when they're doing their flips and yay 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 all the way through flight and you just hear that celebration and see that happiness and everyone on Instagram and stuff as I'm posting things off the trip they're commenting on that what a happy bird you could tell he's so happy and, and they are so it, it feels awesome to be able to give that to them just took a really nice flight into this little canyon and just showed some really cool flight skills for being so new at this. Ah. What are your thoughts on progressing so quickly to this level? skills are very impressive for sure. Well, I decided to get another bird because I wanted Boomer to have a flying partner. Um, once I got going with Boomer, I got a little nervous about flying Boomer by himself because he looks like a little pink pigeon and I just feel like he's more vulnerable. Um, so I wanted something to kind of partner with him and have another set of eyes on the sky. That I had a lot more confidence with Ricochet than I did Boomer and I don't know that that had anything to do with ricochet versus boomer like ricochet being more prepared or a different bird i think it had everything to do with my own growth like that i had already went through the emotions of letting go of control with boomer and feeling what it felt like to get the rewards back of trusting and letting go and letting boomer be a bird and knowing having faith that he was going to come back and that was really an emotional journal journey for me because I'm a control freak 
And so with when Ricochet came along, I was more accepting that this was our journey and that I was gonna just trust in the process and I've been able to relax into that this trip a lot more and just enjoy it more instead of having that tension. Training between Boomer and Ricochet was completely night and day. Um, Boomer was not weaned properly. He was weaned on his seed. So I had to take the seed away and he was very obsessive with seed. And so even if he had a full crop, didn't matter. Anytime he saw seeds, he just would just go ballistic and just have that baby screaming constantly going on. It was very intense. He's very busy and all over the place and wouldn't sit on trees or stay put on a perch. Uh, Ricochet is very laid back, wouldn't take a cedar or nut until he was completely weaned off formula. Um, he's very chill, likes to play and hang out on the trees and just more relaxed, a lot cuddlier. Um, yeah. They're night and day. Boomer's training, I think, progressed more by the book. Like, I could do the target training. I could do the treat training from the get-go. Ricochet didn't want anything to do with any of that. It's been a lot of baby bond stuff with him and to do. He's moved slower than Boomer did. go to new places all the time and see new things and see it through our birds too and see their reactions to different areas and yeah it's much more than that. of being a bird owner because of knowing you both. It's, it's affected me a lot. Went on a hot air balloon on this trip. Never thought in a million years that I would ever do that. When we were up in the balloon, my daughter called me on a regular phone call and I decided to hit FaceTime because I knew I would just blow my daughter's mind that I had the courage to go up in a balloon like she knows me she knows that that's a fear of mine and that that's not something that I, she would expect me to do and so I did it and she immediately grabbed my grandson's his eyes popped out of his head and just like his jaw hit the ground and he was you 
could just tell that he was so blown away and so impressed by me and to be able to give that um, example to my grandson is everything. It, it made it all worth it. Thank you.